How's it going, everybody? Swanee and Cookie are back at it with another podcast. And in today's podcast, I want to discuss the heroes in Battlefront 2. The game's been out for, uh, what, a week, two weeks, Cookie? Something like that. Uh, well, the f- depends on which release. I've, I don't know. I've played it so much, I don't... I the don't normal remember. release been out for a week. But the point is that everybody's been playing it. They have a feel for the game. We know the bugs and the things that need tweaked and fixed and uh, whatnot, but my opinion on the heroes has changed from when the game first came out. Like, when the first the game first came out, I liked the current setup. I liked how heroes cost the amount that they did, and I liked that if you were infantry, you actually stood a chance, and you could take them on, and it took some skill to be a hero... But after playing the game as much as I have, I think that they need to definitely tweak the heroes. Because, let's say, I save up for Boba Fett. Boba Fett's 8,000 points on Dumbu. And I get Boba Fett, and I make it, like, five steps out of the spawn, and then some prick runs around the corner on a kamikaze mission with his shotgun and just blows me away in two shots. That is Mm -hmm. stupid. Like, I'm trying to think of it from, like, the casual player's perspective. Like, I'm pretty decent at this game, and that stuff aggravates the hell out of me, so I couldn't imagine if, like, you just play this with your son or your daughter or your friend, and you only play this, like, once or twice a week, and you're not that good, and you just want to have fun, and then you save up for Darth Vader, and then you die instantly because of crap like that. Like, the casual players are what make this game because there's so many people that just play this game casually. Um, the, I mean, you gotta make the casual players happy because if they're not happy, then they're not gonna buy the game. Like, you get what I'm saying? See, I I feel slightly different on you the, uh, from you on this one. My problem, my problem with those certain things, like either... A heavy killing you with like the supercharged sentry, or a assault person going on a vanguard kamikaze mission. Those things I think are a problem with everything. Like I don't think I think those things need fixed in general because I think they're stupid how they how they interact with other infantry too. So I don't think that's a heroes need a buff. I think that's a fix those stupid things. <laughs> like I think those yeah, things should be fixed in on their own. Yeah, like, I don't like when that happens either, but I think that's a problem bigger than just the hero health. I think that's just, those are just things that need to be fixed. Like, like uh, I think one time you got killed in the spawn with an LAAT gunship, too. That's also oh, yeah. something that just needs to be fixed. That, But I don't think that's the hero's fault. I think that's the fault of just other things in the game that need to be fixed. So I, I don't mm-hmm. think the hero health in itself... Like, a couple heroes, like Palpatine, I think needs a buff... I think Kylo might need a little buff in health, but I, I think in general I think the system works and I think I think it's done pretty well overall. I think I might make the heroes cost less. I think that would be a good step, so they're not as yeah, drastic that to get. Would probably because, help it. Yeah, because you work so drastically to get them and then they're dead instantly. So I mm-hmm. think that would make more sense to me is reducing the price rather than uh, giving them a big health boost. There's a problem um, there, but I don't think I don't think messing with the heroes too much is the way to fix it. Well, there's so many things that can kill the heroes instantly, like the shotgun, the uh, on Hoth, all the spaceships. If you are the mm-hmm. Empire and you get lucky enough to get a hero right away, you're toast. There is no way you're going to survive. I have had at least ten streaks ended from those stupid uh, air speeders. Because they just pick you out yeah. from the radar and then just tear into you and you die in like two seconds. So well, the ships like on, kill you. <laughs> that's a different kind of problem too. Like on Hoth is a special planet because there's no there's no trees of any kind. There's no like buildings. It's just it's just straight up. <laughs> it's not even really. There's nowhere to really hide unless you go underneath the ice caves or something. You're out in the open. So there's a couple ways they can fix that just by basically. Uh, letting the Empire play against the Rebels from the beginning in the air. I don't understand why. The, the, there's that problem with Starkiller Base, too. 
But that, again, is kind of a separate problem. Because I, I like the fact that you can play in the air a lot on Hoth and stuff, but... And I like I the fact the, the that Empire you can, can shoot people on the ground. The Empire at the beginning? Yes, but the airspeeder is so overpowered that it will completely annihilate TIE Fighters. I was in a TIE Fighter yeah. facing an airspeeder with the little barrage that you have. I hit it with a missile and the barrage, and it did nothing to the airspeeder, and then it just blew me away. And then I kept picking the TIE Fighter because I wanted to kill the dude in the airspeeder. Killed me every single time. So mm -hmm. they definitely need to just nerf well, the airspeeder. They might just need to buff the... They might just need to nerf the airspeeder then. But it's also, the airspeeder also can make itself so slow that it's so easy to pick people off off the ground, which mm -hmm. makes it very different from all the other fighters, too. So that, that just might be another, I would nerf the airspeeder or something like that. Because you're right on Hoth, you're, you're totally screwed. There's nowhere to hide on that map at all, especially as a hero. Okay. Well, that was my second point, is that the ships kill the heroes. My third point is that the heavy class... If you have any upgraded version of the Heavy Century, Saber Heroes cannot block that. Because if there's anything with explosive rounds, they just, like, they'll do the blocking motion, but the explosive damage just tears up the hero. So you're just, your options are either you stand there and you die from the explosive damage, or you try to run for your life. But if you're in a situation where you have to block, there's already people, like, you're probably surrounded anyway. So... I guess if you just run into a heavy that's a century that has uh, explosive rounds, you just die, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's pretty stupid also that a saber hero goes up against a heavy and has to hit him like 12 times. So heavies... It takes three <laughs> hits to kill a heavy with a saber. <laughs> it's stupid. It doesn't make it... it, it the, so heavies in general are very dumb when it has to do with heroes. Like, they're way mm -hmm. too... They have way too much power going up against a hero, so... I, I agree with you on that point. I think I think that's. I mean, I agree with you in general, but I think heavies desperately need to be like reduced when it comes to what they can do to heroes. Well, I originally liked the idea sense. of it taking a few hits to kill infantry with a saber, but now I think it should take one hit to kill infantry with a saber because, especially since they can do that little exploit with the roll. Like, if I'm in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a dude and he just spams the roll constantly, here I am swinging aimlessly with the saber because your guy tries to lunge towards him and then he just rolls. So you're spending, like, five seconds trying just swinging your saber at this dude and then all his teammates are mowing you down because you look like an idiot and there's nothing you can do. Yeah. So it should yeah, one-shot totally people. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah, I agree with you on that. It, it should one-shot people. It should be... Only because the way that the health is set up and the way that, you know, you can spam roll, it's not like you have no options uh, if a person just slashes you once. Because generally, if you're getting slashed by a lightsaber once, you're going to die in a second anyway. There's not too mm -hmm. many people that are able to run away from it after the first strike anyway. So, I mean, you if might you get well that close to the saber, kill you. you should be awarded with the one-shot kill because you, I mean... With the blaster heroes, you can safely stay at a distance and pick people off. With the saber, you have to get in, and sometimes you're on like a five v one situation. Like, mm -hmm. if you're in a five v one situation, you have to hit a heavy three times, then you're uh, probably gonna die. Yeah, so that's they need to fix that in general. The lightsaber needs to be more. It needs to do a lot more damage. So that that's something that should be fixed on the hero side, in my opinion. They need to they need mm -hmm. to make the lightsabers more powerful. Well, another thing is that the heroes appear, they always appear on radar. They're just a red dot. So mm. if there's a, a hero nearby, then you always know where the hero is. And, I mean, so you're already at a disadvantage if you're a hero. And if you go up against a heavy, you're at a disadvantage because you can't block their shots. You can block normal heavy uh, shots. If, there's, if they don't have any upgrades on their uh, sentry, you can block that. So that's nice. And then... There's the kamikaze shotgun dudes, which is dumb. Like, if you get right up on a hero, like, a foot away, you can one-shot a hero with the shotgun. It's, it's, it's crazy, because I was picking people off with Han. Well, I can't talk. I was picking people off with Han, and some dude snuck up behind me and killed me with one shot. And I had full health. So, dude, I think they definitely really stupid. I don't, Yeah, I, I don't like that in, that in general. I, there's no shotguns so. in Star Wars. 
at least in the movies. Uh, so I don't know why they added that thing <laughs> in the so game. It's so overpowered and stupid and annoying. Yeah, it's dumb. I hate everything about Assault Vanguard. <laughs> so for me, I'm totally with just getting rid of that as far as I'm concerned. Or at least desperately so, buffing. Or uh, nerfing it. So you just think they should make heroes cheaper? I mean, that I that would kind of counter it, too. With the current mm -hmm. situation. Like, if, if they keep everything the same, they could make the heroes cheaper, and that would help it out a little bit. Or they could make these changes and just keep the hero points the same. I think that would work, too. But I'd rather them make the changes than make the heroes cheaper. Because I don't want a cheaper thing, hero like, and then still get one shot by a shotgun. The only thing that I still th that I think that they should change as far as the heroes are concerned, other than you know, like I was talking about little health buffs to certain characters, is to make the lightsabers damage much higher. I, I agree with that. The lightsaber should be much higher. So that's something they should fix on the hero side of it. Other than that, I would just fix the other things that suck in the game because I think heavies are too powerful in general. I think assault vanguard sucks. Um, and, and I think that the airspeeder is overpowered. So uh, I, I think in general those things just need to be fixed for everything anyway. I don't think they need to make no. huge changes to the heroes other than dropping the price a bit and uh, making lightsabers more powerful. One shot. Yeah, that, that would be a big improvement. I understand if heavies don't get one shot, by the way, but they shouldn't be three shot. That's, that's stupid. There's no reason mm -hmm. heavies are getting three shots before they're dead. That's that's insane. I mean, that even if they sense. buff the saber attack and heavies took two hits, that's still better than three. I'm, I'd be okay with two oh, hits yeah. to kill a heavy. Makes sense. More sense. Still yeah, more really sense. Good. Doesn't make as much <laughs> it sense. Makes sense. Makes more sense. <laughs> it's a I step think, in the right and then they could keep the damage to other heroes the same. Like if I run into Darth Maul and I'm Ray, it should still take the same amount of hits to kill Mauls. As it normally would. They yeah. don't need to change that. Just against, like, droids and regular infantry. Because it, uh, mm -hmm. it takes one hit to kill a sniper. It should take one hit to kill an assault or an officer as well. It shouldn't take two hits to kill an officer. Yeah. But, it, it's it's a weird system they have there. So I think in general the lightsaber, even even just on a making sense standpoint, should one-shot pretty much everything. Or most everything. Yeah, I took a poll on Twitter and they... People basically said the same thing. There's a few that like mm -hmm. it the, the, the way that it is, but I think, I mean, I think if they change the way that the sabers work and they one-shot everybody, I think everybody will be happy. I think it'll work itself yeah. out and it'll be fine. Because then people will get more kills and people won't feel as, I don't know, upset when they get the hero and yeah. die. Because there's people that ask me nonstop, like, Swanee, how do you get the hero right away? Or if I get the hero, I just die instantly. Like, what do I do? I think if they just tweak these things a bit, uh, it'll it'll be fine. But mm -hmm. I think we we yeah, pretty I, much have the fixable. same opinion on this. It's 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 fixable. Yeah, I mean it's a problem. I just don't I don't know if I would fix it on the hero side of it for most of the problem. I would try to fix the other problems because I see them in a lot of places. Um, yeah, more than just saying. being a hero. But we're in general agreement. I think. These are definitely problems. Yes. <laughs> we definitely agree on that. But they can and be that's fixed. That's why I'm, could definitely I'm kind it. of not shooting for... like I, Normally I'd be pooping out a lot more kill streaks than what I have been. Like I have a decent amount of streaks, but I'm sort of holding back on some of the streaks because I know they're probably going to change these heroes and they're going to change the way that this works. And I don't want to try to get a saber streak the way that it is if they're just going to change it. Yeah, I, I I think they'll I hope they do something, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure if they will. I don't know if there's enough of an uproar or not. But we'll see. I hope they do. Yep. So that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, getting this far in it. Tell us in the comments what you guys think, uh, whether you agree with us, whether you disagree with us. Love to hear from you and have a little conversation of our own. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you haven't. Go ahead and sub if you haven't, donate if you can, and watch another video. We've got tons of them to choose from, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. And uh, suggest what you guys want us to talk about in future podcasts as well in the comments down below. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. I warn you not to underestimate my powers. <laughs>
Do not throw away your potential. Don't force me to kill you! 